One of the coolest features the iPad can do is something called speech to text. And what this means is I can have my iPad take anything it hears and convert that into text for me. So in order to do that, I have to first turn it on. So I'm gonna do that by opening up my settings app. Now, once I open up the settings app, I'm gonna to go to general over here on the left. And then I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to where I see keyboard. Now in the keyboard settings, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see an option that says enable dictation. When I turn this on, it'll say, do you sure you want to enable it? I say yes. And it will turn that on. Now, there's another option that sometimes shows up or sometimes I have to leave and then come back that'll show up right underneath this. So let me show you what I mean. If I leave and click on something else and then go back to general and then keyboard, there is now an option that shows up underneath enable dictation that says dictation shortcut. What that means is, is if I have my keyboard attached, um, I can actually have a shortcut that will turn dictation on. And it's a double click, and I could simply make that a double press of either the control key on my keyboard or the command key, and I just choose which one I want. I personally like the control key. Now, let me show you how this works. So now all I have to do is simply open up an app that supports text. So let's say I'm in an app like Google Docs. I can go ahead and create a new uh, document and give my document a name and hit create. Now, as long as I have a blinking cursor, I can either activate my speech to text by using my attached keyboard and by using my keyboard shortcut. In this case, I told it to double tap the control button. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and double tap the control button on my keyboard. And I wanna wait until I get this moving line that shows up across the screen, period. Once this line appears, now it is picking up my voice just like it does with Siri, period. Notice that when I record my voice, I do need to make sure I mention things like punctuation, period. What do you think? Question mark. When I'm finished, I simply tap the keyboard button. It goes away and now I can go back and edit my individual text. So if it did a good job or if it maybe made some mistakes, I could go back and tweak that. Now, if I do not have a keyboard attached, it works the same way. The only difference is when I am, uh, put my cursor to where I want. Now on my on-screen keyboard, to the left of the space bar down here at the bottom, you'll see a microphone button. And when I tap on that microphone, it's gonna open up the same uh, control center or the same control bar with the same exact uh, moving line as it picks up my text. So this is what it looks like if I go to record my voice on the on-screen keyboard instead of the connected keyboard, period. Now I'm simply gonna tap the keyboard button at the bottom to turn it off, period. So speech to text will work in just about any app that supports a keyboard. So if I have any app that allows me to type something with a keyboard either attached or on screen, most of those apps will support the dictation feature which allows me to convert my speech right to text uh, in that app. And that's how it works.